Welcome back to Excel Online Advisor and today we are going to discuss named range in Excel. Before we jump into the video, let's discuss the topic which we are going to cover today. The first and the basic, what is named range? Followed by how to create and how to check named range once it's created. Then we are going to discuss the shortcut to create named ranges and the most important how to create named ranges in bulk. Now let's jump into the video. So what is named range? Basically in simple words it's a label that you assign to a specific cell, group of cells or range of cells. Let's make it easy for you. On your screen you can see this data. Now when I say month I mean to say these six months which you have on the screen. So this is what exactly a named range means. We are going to give a label to all these names. Let me show you how it works. What I need to do, the basic one. I simply select all my data which I would like to name now I will go to this formula tab here you can see this define name okay if you see here this refers to it already selects the data which I have selected here now by default on this name it generally takes the first cell as the name but you can modify it now I want to give these cells a name a label basically which is month so I selected month and I click OK now my first name range is created how to check it right here under this formula tab you can see this name manager if you go to this you can see the range here this is the name of the range that is month and this is the data that is from B4 to B9. Now let's take one more example. This time I'm going to select the complete data along with the header because I want my data to have the name from the header instead of typing it manually. Now if I go to define name like this you can see it's already having a name that's y underscore 20. The reason it is showing underscore not co uh, comma, it's because you cannot use any special character except underscore. Now if I click on OK and I can check it now in this name manager. Now what's the use? Let's suppose I want to find the maximum and the minimum number from this list. What we generally do is I go use the formula max then I need to select the numbers like this which is a lengthy process actually but let's do it for now. Okay. I need to delete this one. Okay, I get the result 64. Now look at the time, how long I take to do this. Now instead what I can do is, I know I have to use the formula max. So instead of selecting the numbers, I know I already given this particular set of data a name and that's y underscore 20. So as soon as I press y you can see the name here. I just need to tap on it and bingo. In the same way without selecting my data just use the name range and bingo. That's the use of name range. First and most important it saves your time and if you're working in a file where you have a lot of data or sheets then it's very helpful. Now let's jump into the next topic how to create it. 
So as of now, we have uh, seen the basics like you need to go to the formula tab and then you need to click on define name. But there's a shortcut as well. Let's suppose I want to name this range as Y21. So you can use control F3. As soon as you will press control and F3 on your keyboard, you will get a box like this. And at the left top corner, you can see this new. Just click new. It will automatically select the data which you have already selected. And it will take the name from the first cell that's Y21. And OK. And bingo. You have a new range here. Similarly, I selected the next column. I press Ctrl F3 and go to new and OK and bingo. Like this. Now, this is something which we are doing manually for all the columns one by one. What if I need to create bulk name ranges? Let's suppose I want to create these five named ranges all together. For this, you just need to make a small modification. Earlier, we are using Control and F3 to create a named range. To create a bulk named range, you need to press Control, Shift and F3. You will see a box like this. Now here, there are four options. So basically, I want my top row to be used as named for the below data. So I check on top row. I click OK and just bingo. Now look here the magic. You have the five ranges all together. Now let's take another example. Instead of creating it from up uh, top to bottom, if you want to create it from left to right, what I mean is if I say January, it will select these data automatically and similarly for other months. Just press Control Shift F3 instead of top row, just and check it and check left column and OK and bingo. Now you can see your April, Jan, Fab, June, March, and you can see the data as well. If you have any doubt till now, do let me know in comment. If you like the video, please show some love and share this video. Thank you.